everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to implement in-app purchase. So how can we add a products or services from our Android application using the Google service? So at first, go to Google and write something like Android in-app purchase library. This is very, very simple library. You can click here inside this one go down and you are going to see the required gravel so at first take this one which is the maven central because this library is depend on the maven central and go to the gravel script and here in the first one which is the project one and here inside the repository just paste the maven central and click on sync now also you need this one for the dependency so copy this one and again go to the android studio to the build gradle which is of type module paste it here in the dependency and click on sync now so now you have copy and paste the required gradle for your android application the next step we need this permission which is the vending peeling so copy this one go to your app let's close this gradle file and go to the manifest here and inside the android manifest just paste this line here above the application now everything is ready so let's start the programming so just drag and drop this button let's add some vertical and horizontal line here let's call this button as for example btn underscore pay let's write something like pay so it is very simple just when the user click on pay everything will be executed now let's go to the kotlin file at first you should implement this interface so go here and call this interface which is billing processor dot i billing handler this interface is included inside this class which is the billing processor and all those inside the library which have you import so then after you have defined all those all what you need is just to define a variable using something like let int var pp of type the class billing process then just create the object by using pp equal billing processor and you should pass th something like this null and this which means this is the context which is the current activity this one is the interface which is the i billing handler here is used only if you publish your app inside the google play now after you have created the object just put the pointer here alt enter implement member and you can call all those four functions and click on ok let's remove those to do from the four parts here here and also here and now let's define the event handler for the button by using btn pay dot set on a click listener and write something like pp which is this object of the class billing processor dot purchase and pass this one this and write something like android dot test dot purchased which means you are going only to test the in-app purchasing not real life purchasing after all those go here before the curly bracket of the closing of the class and you can call this function which is on activity result on activity result and this function is used to receive the request from the user so i'm going to write something like if not pp dot 
handle active result and pass all those three copy and paste them here and in this case just call the default on activity result which means if this process is not being used in this case just use the default one for the on activity result and what about if the user close this activity or this application all what you need is just to call the on destroyed function and in this case write something like if pp not equal null in this case just pp dot release so everything is ready everything is ready to test but of course you cannot test this example on your emulator so for the purpose of this example i'm going to test it on a physical mobile so just connect your physical mobile and then just let's run the example on the physical mobile select our physical mobile which is lenovo and click on ok and this will install the application inside our emulator now as you can see here the application has been installed so if we click on the app as you can see you will get this message which is used to pi anything so when we click on pi so as you can see here your payment has been successful so this is very simple example for in-app purchase and see you in the next week